Breakers, I'm back again. So there has been some confusion over part stats. I just want to try to demystify some of that quick, real quick for you. So, first and foremost, let's see what goes into a part. Each one of your body parts will be responsible for a different main stat. Head would be reaction HP. Body would be all your defenses HP, thrust capacity. Arm would be defenses HP. Leg would be movement speed HP. Backpack is boost speed HP. Going from top to bottom, what each one of these stats actually means. Movement speed speaks for itself. Moving without boosting, that's how fast you are. The higher the number, the faster you go. Boost speed, same thing. The higher the number, the faster you boost. Thrust capacity should speak for itself. The thing people might not necessarily understand, though, is reaction speed. Reaction speed is a bit of an oddball carryover from previous breakers. In a nutshell, it is how fast you attack. Your head is going to be the primary source of reaction speed. And as you level it up, you're going to get higher reaction. You're starting at 110%. 140 is generally the, the higher base. You can get anywhere upwards of 150, 160, even higher than that, depending on the traits you have slotted in as well. Uh, let us give this a good example. I'm going to throw a single basic beam saber on, just for the sake of seeing the animation. And let's throw on this... Wow, that changes everything. That's hilarious. Let's throw on this Zeta Plus head real quick, or even a Palace of Theme. Something level 1 that's sitting at 110 reaction speed. Head into the test void. I'm going to bring a stopwatch with me and record it so I can insert it into the video. And first thing we're going to see is how fast I can empty out my range weapons at 110%. Starting with my right hand. Three, two, one. And I'm stupid because I forgot to turn off the gauge. Alright, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Three point seven seconds I end up getting that drained out. We'll come back to that after. Now let's see how fast my attack combo goes. Basic saber combo. Ba 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 ba. Everyone loves it. Now let's go throw my G self head with that 140% back on real quick. Since you just saw the attack speed of a base level 1 head, bum, 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 bum. it should be very noticeably different what 140 looks like from melee alone. Now if I want to also test to prove that it does for shot, get my stopwatch out again. Let's see exactly how fast I can empty under this. In 3, 2, 1. 2.7 seconds. Shaved almost a whole second. That's just mashing the button. Of course, reaction speed for shot means less on semi-automatic weapons, because I can also just do this. Uh, the glitch I discovered during the open network test still works. Essentially, at the end of any movement recovery frame, which includes dropping the ground, or doing a dodge, you can overclock your ranged weapon briefly. Works on air dodges as well. Find an air dodge. 
I took off the ability to air dodge. Yeah, I had that on a, uh, <laughs> I had that on ability capsule. I'll go over those in another video. But, as long as you have that little trick, you don't necessarily need to focus on reaction speed for shooting, but it's still damn nice to have. Going over the rest of our stats real quick. Close range power. That is the average aggregate power of the weapon sitting in that hand. It's essentially going to be unmodified at zero def defense per hit what you are dealing for damage. So if I have a 5016 on my saber and 5400s on my shots, I should be doing roughly about that, not counting for adjustments. Yeah, not counting for adjustment. Adjustment, of course, being the adjustment on the weapon that gives me uh, stupid amounts of extra power. Such as that long range type and that physical type multiplying in as well. Essentially, it's a baseline number for your, your raw power going out. It should not be used as any kind of measuring metric. It should not be used as damage total. It's a rough guesstimate. I hope you know what HP is at this time. It's your hit points. How much health you have till you are destroyed. Resistance is next. Resistances are literally how well you resist certain types of attacks. I have an even resistance because I have no traits that boost them individually. So at with nothing but level 50 parts, I'm sitting at 141 and a quarter. Whether it's a close-range weapon, a long-range weapon, a physical weapon, or a beam weapon, I'm going to be reducing that damage by 141%. You know, minus all their pluses. Right and left long-range weapon gauge capacity is my ammo capacity for my weapons. Your rarity at base will also determine the gauge of your weapons. A one-star weapon usually starts at a 100 base, 100%, while a two-star will go up to 105 with modifications, a three-star goes up to 110 with modifications, all the way up to a four-star being 100 and... if I have a four-star... four-stars being 140, which is wild. Five stars being in the 160 range. And six stars being in the 170 range. And of course, the higher the percent, the longer your ammo gauge, the more shots you can fire without having to recharge or reload. The longer your Jirobi lasts. You know, fun stuff like that. And the final stat to care about there is going to be guard cage capacity, which is literally how much abuse your block can take before it breaks. Again, higher the number, better the effect. Real simple. When you are blocking an attack, you will see a little meter come up on the bottom of the screen. As you block more attacks, that will deplete. When it depletes to nothing, you get guard broken. While guard broken, you're briefly staggered and open to attack. You've seen yourself do it to enemies all the time. It happens with you too. Getting that up can help you, ca help you take a lot more damage when under guard. Getting that up and unlocking the ability to do auto guard from an ability capsule, even better. That means anytime you're not actually doing an action that would stop you from blocking, you're treated as blocking. Honestly, I kind of kind of raised that up a bit. I'm a little disappointed mine's so low. Uh, but that's essentially a breakdown of what all your base stats do. And each one of your parts is going to be feeding into that base stat. So it's good to try to aim for traits that might get you a little over the edge and give you that extra little edge in combat.